despite being a story about heists and crime, Enterpoint has a lot of moral themes in it, which I would like to cover and explain in detail. Before I go on, I would like to clarify that technically, there are no true good guys in Entrypoint. Almost every character is a criminal in some shape or form, however some characters are relatively more good or evil than others, and some actions are arguably morally justified. Relatively speaking, the director is the main villain of the story. According to the Kill House Code, the director used Jackdaw to take out all the other Halcyon directors, only to then betray Jackdaw and take over the organization. This means that Phoenix is, to some extent, justified in wanting to take down Halcyon. Thus, from a relative perspective, they are the good guys of the story. With only one mission left, and Phoenix mobilizing in 12 different countries, it seems that Halcyon is going to go down, and Phoenix is going to win. Despite this, I don't believe that Entry Point will get a happy ending. I foresee something much darker. The evidence for my theory can be found in the Kill House Nightmare Assault. I won't go into detail here because I'm sure many of you are already familiar with it. But if you don't know what it is, then check out the wiki link in the description. Anyway, in this game mode, Rose has some very ominous lines which have generated a lot of theories and a lot of different interpretations. However, with the release of the latest two cutscenes, I think I finally deciphered their meaning. Rose's lines in the Nightmare Assault are all in the freelancer's head. They're imagining that she is talking to them, imagining how she would feel if she were alive to witness the end of Halcyon. Rose seems disappointed in how things turn out. This suggests that Phoenix's final strike against Halcyon didn't go as planned. Something went wrong or something tragic happened that was unintended. This makes the protagonist regret trying to avenge Rose. They realize that Rose was right. They shouldn't have joined Phoenix. It's hard to predict what went wrong. One possibility is that the freelancer gets taken out by Halcyon and their mental conversation with Rose is the last thing they witness before they die. In this scenario, Phoenix would probably still win the Shadow War, but at a greater cost. I know I've said that the protagonist can't die, but this is only due to them having to complete all the missions canonically. After the Black Dusk, they could very well die. This is, however, just one out of many possibilities, and I'm not entirely confident in it. Perhaps it's the government, not Halcyon, that takes down the Freelancer. This would make the canon a bit more similar to the Nightmare Assault, which involves SWAT units. Another possibility is that the freelancer doesn't die, but they're very disappointed in how things turn out. They feel like they haven't really accomplished anything or gained anything. This validates Jackdaw's comments about revenge. It's not going to bring you any peace, you know. No solace, no tranquility, just ashes. The war has been won, but at what cost? Overall, it's hard to predict what will become of the protagonist after the Black Dusk until the epilogue finally comes out. Regardless, one way or another, it doesn't seem like it's going to end very well. This is honestly not surprising at all, considering the type of developer that Sashado is. They wouldn't settle for a stereotypical happy ending because this story deserves much better than that. Anyway guys, I'm really excited for the release of The Black Dusk, which is going to be at midnight EST on May 9th. This has been the unofficial guide to Entry Point.